Hi there, this is Miss Brown. I'm back with you today to discuss reptiles. This is on the back of your chart in the first column. Uh, these are our first group that we've studied that are fully terrestrial vertebrates. And there above that, I want you to write the word herpetology at the top of your chart. So someone who studies reptiles is a herpetologist. Herpetology. Oh, there's you a new word. Okay, uh, examples are snakes, lizards, turtles, crocs, and gators. Uh, habitat, terrestrial, aquatic, semi-aquatic. They found, they're found most everywhere on Earth uh, in different environments. Uh, appendages, mixed bag. They could have none. There could be four legs with claws. Or there could be flippers. Uh, body cover. They have scales of keratin. And most of them will molt. You may have seen a snake skin before when you were outside in the grass. Uh, of course, they can't grow. It, it's too stiff. So uh, they just make a new one and crawl out of the old one shed their skin. Uh, the head and mouth, they have jaws with teeth, fangs, or maybe even a beak. Uh, respiration, they have lungs. Heart chambers, most of them have three, but the larger ones have four chambers with a septum, and they have double loop circulation. So we're becoming more and more um, advanced as we go here. Body temperature, they're ectothermic, so they're still what we call cold-blooded, but they use sun to shade regulation. So they use the sun to warm up um, outside. Now, skeleton of bone and cartilage. Fertilization is all internal. And here's the, the way the reptiles can be out of the water. They lay an amniotic egg with a leathery shell so it doesn't dry out. So unlike what we saw with the frog eggs that had to stay in the water, they can actually lay their eggs on land. So they have this leathery shell. Um, they're adapted for land reproduction. Uh, under that, some of their um, uh, special adaptations, oviparous and ovoviviparous. Oviparous means an animal lays an egg and then it hatches outside the body, like what you might be familiar with with a bird. But some reptiles, like snakes, can be ovoviviparous. They have eggs. The egg is laid, but it doesn't leave the body until it hatches. So some people see this happen and think snakes are what we call live bearers, like the mammals, but they're not. The, the egg is actually inside her body and... Um, and then they will hatch there. So they're just protected a little bit longer. They can protect those eggs and keep them from being uh, eaten by predators if they're inside her body until uh, they hatch and uh, come out. And they have a cloaca, which again is one, one area, the end of the long, large intestine, for reproduction, uh, urine, and uh, feces. All that happens there. So adaptations, we have fangs, poison sacs, and pits. And the three pit vipers we worry about here in Alabama are rattler, uh, the southern rattlesnake, copperhead, and the cottonmouth. And uh, snake venom, it can either be a hemotoxin where it attacks your bloodstream or a neurotoxin where it attacks your nerves. And antivenin is used uh, to help people with that if you have a snake bite. And some more adaptations here. There's no ears. There's a Jacobson's organs that helps with smell. And they have disjointed jaws so they can pop those open and swallow food whole. Uh, lizards can change color. They can regenerate their tail. Uh, you'll see some of this in the video. Some are legless and some have external ears. And then the turtles, uh, tortoise, terrapin, uh, the shell is actually part of his backbone. He can't crawl off and leave it. And they have no teeth, but they have these beaks that are very powerful that help them to tear food. And then you have crocs versus alligators. Uh, alligators uh, are more what we see here. Um, they're only found in the U.S. and China. Their eyes and nostrils are on top of their head, which is a great adaptation. And they're valuable for their leather and meat. There are places where people eat gator and crocodile, uh, especially if you've ever visited Louisiana. You'll get uh, to try that somewhere. It's very, very, very popular there. And uh, the skin of the animal can make uh, shoes and that sort of thing. And then you have the turatara. Uh, it's often called a living Fossil is a lizard-like animal. It has a heat sensor eye, and it's found in the New Zealand area. Thank you.